so last week I made a video where I tried dragon claw specking Jad like Wooks did back in his video back in the day. And I lent some of the money from my friend Ian, who let me basically purchase the claws with that. And I ended up buying them for 257 million, 900,000 GP, as you can see on screen. Now I used them for about, I think, five hours while making the video. And I sold them back for 284 million, 20,006 GP. Now I am not a mathematician, but I know that is some extremely juicy profit off the claws and i did not even know that they would be going for that much six hours later i think i may have gotten lucky with this but this was totally accidental i was not intending to flip it for this much i actually put in the price for what i bought them for i put in 257 million 900 000 gp just so i just in hopes that i wouldn't you know lose any money off of it and what happens i end up making 26 million actually precisely it was 26 million 120 thousand and six gp which makes this my biggest flip of all time gotta say i'm probably thinking about starting up my own merching flipping clan this i think this flip justifies my extreme presence in the runescape economy i'm just kidding i got really lucky seeing this item sort of made me want to try out different items for flipping i've always enjoyed flipping i've always been very bad at flipping larger items though like i'm pretty good with like zero to five mil items, I guess. But flipping the high price items, I've never really been good at. This time, however, luck was on my side and I managed to find one item that made me absolute bank. So I'm gonna show you guys the profits that I made, the profit margins, how much I made off the items and stuff like that. By the way, I know Alex Torvesta made a video on flipping raids items. If you guys wanna go check that out, I'll leave it in the description below. I just wanna let you know that I wasn't copying him, I was just doing this as well, and we just happened to, I guess, do the same thing. So the first two items that I pretty much went out loud on were the Dragon Under Crossbow and the Twisted Buckler. Now the Dragon Under Crossbow, like I said, was the just money item for me. I made a lot of money off of it, but I'm going to go through each flip and just show you guys pretty much the profit I made. So I'll start off with the Twisted Buckler. I flipped it four times over the past week. I only spent like three or four days doing this. Sometimes I had to wait a bit longer to make sure that I made profit off of it because they're... The prices of these items are really sketchy at the moment. They keep rising and falling, and uh, it's scary. But uh, this was a buckler I managed to make about a 4 mil off of. You can see the first two flips went for over 1 mil. It was 1.1 mil, then 1.3 mil, and then the last two were 700k each. And I stopped after that because the prices were a bit shaky for it, and I wasn't really confident in my flipping skills. And I moved straight over to the Dragon Under Crossbow, which I made the most money off of. This was opposite. Of the, of the Twisted Buckler, since the first two flips I had were pretty low, 565k and then 801k, and then all of a sudden the big boom happened and I started making bank off these. So my third, fourth, and fifth flips all went for over a mil, so I made 3.3 mil profit off those three flips. Then I dropped down to 750k profit off two flips, and then I left in three overnight offers, which I made my most money off of, aside from the Dragon Claws. So I made 1,585,000 on three of those, which equals quite a bit of money. It's like 4.5 mil or something, 4.6 mil. The last item that I flipped was the Ancestral Row Bottom, which is going for quite a lot of money. I only made 200K off of it. I was trying to experiment with different items, but I don't know, going for that high is a bit sketchy. You have to get a bit lucky with selling your first one. It's hard to, for me, it's hard to fi figure out margins of high price items, which I'm still, I'm still learning. I don't flip that often though, so I, I guess I'm not really learning. But I made 200k profit off of that. So in total, of all of these items that I flipped, I managed to make 14,963,033 GP. Now that is not including the claws, obviously. That's just including the three items that I flipped prior. I think a bulk of that obviously came from the Dragon Under Crossbow. Probably th three-fourths of that came from the crossbow. So thank you to the Dragon Under Crossbow. It made my bank go up. Sort of makes up for not getting that many raids items. I only got one. It was a 10 mil split, but uh, this makes up for it. But if we add the clause flip in there, which was 26 million, 120,000, and 6 GP, that totals up to 41 million, 83,000, and 39 GP of all these items that I flipped. Now, <laughs> I accidentally obviously made 26 million off that Dragon Claws flip, but the 15 million I made from the other, I was pretty happy with. I don't think I've ever made that much in a week flipping. For me, that's special. But yeah, I just want to update you guys some of the profits I made. I told you guys I'd be coming out with this, and I want to show you that clause flip since I thought it was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I don't have any more flips for you. It's sort of hard to make long flipping videos, especially when I think people just sort of want to see my profits and not necessarily know my margins and why I picked the item and stuff like that. Now, uh, there was a couple items that I did lose a bit of money off of. I tried the Dragon Sword once, lost like 400k. I tried a Din's Bulwark, lost like 400k, stuff like that. But uh, it didn't really cut into my main profit at all. If anything, I guess my my profit is still 40 million plus, I'd say. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys all for watching. If you want to see more flipping videos in the future, make sure to drop a like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys all for watching. See you next time. 
Have a good one, and peace. Wow.